the lines in three, two, one, go. Semifinal one, match number two, Blue Alliance advantage. Just like in semifinal one, match one, we are seeing the Red Alliance start with five preloaded cargo pods and only one null hatch panel. The Blue Alliance doing the opposite, five null panels and one preloaded cargo. During that sandstorm period, Cyber Knight's able to place a hatch panel in front of that preloaded cargo for five points. However, at the end of that sandstorm, Red Alliance advantage. They have a score of 47, so the Blue Alliance is 34. Over on the far side of the field, we are seeing a similar strategy play out by the Force team. During our last match, the Force team played a very effective defensive game against Symbotics, making Symbotics really fight for every point that they earned. However, we are seeing some trouble for the Force team. The Force team with a solid robot signal light and no movement. That right there indicating technical difficulties. And during that time, Symbotics, no opposition to scoring. They're shuttling cargo to the cargo ship and hatch panels to the Red Alliance rockets. Trident Robotics playing defense. They're pushing away Robo Jackets out of Auburn Hills, Michigan. Robo Jackets able to make it to their loading zone and they're back with a hatch panel for more. T minus 70 seconds. The Red Alliance extending their lead to 12 points. That could change because back at it is the Force team getting in the way of Symbotics once again. Very hard defense being played by Trident Robotics. They are pushing Robo Jackets everywhere. But during all of this, Cyber Knights out of Southington, Connecticut, no problem loading up a Blue Alliance rocket on their own. They've got five hatch panels, but they take a break to load some cargo in their cargo ship. Red Alliance advantage now, 13 points, but that closes to 12 at T minus 30. We're seeing Trident Robotics still trying to play some last minute defense, same as the Force team. But as that siren goes off, it is the end game and OP Robotics unopposed, able to load up a rocket right as that end game siren goes off. 10 seconds to go, Cyber Knights on the half for the Blue Alliance, OP for Red. Both those robots make it to level three for 12 points. In the final moments of the match, Robo Jackets making it to level two, but three robots still on the surface of Planet Prime. Close match, but the Red Alliance pulls ahead in the end by seven points, 109 to 102. This means our semifinal one is going on to a tiebreaker.